You are not ready for this. You are not even close to be ready for this, bro. Oh, look at that. And let's make it epic, guys. Let's make it epic. Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I am going to explain in detail how you can craft yourself a fantastic Dragon Slayer quality build using the Dragon Hunter's Great Katana. This amazing katana has a very unique design, it deals a lot of damage, and it is extremely effective against the most powerful dragons of this game, including the DLC ones. And of course, as it is a variation of a katana, it's extremely easy to use as well. If you are wondering which weapon you should take to the toughest areas of the DLC, this is definitely a great option for you. First of all, I'm going to talk about the main features of the build, I will explain the best stats and equipment to increase the performance of this weapon, we will test this build against the most difficult enemies of the base game, and I will show you where you can obtain this weapon without giving you any spoiler. But at the end of this video, I will show you how effective this weapon can be against one of the most difficult enemies of this DLC, which can be considered a spoiler, that's why it is going to be at the very end of the video, so you can watch the most important part of the video without getting any spoiler. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. Ok guys, what we have here today is a great katana, which is one of my favorite new weapon categories of the DLC. And what I like the most about this weapon type is that it's very fast and it has a very decent range. It actually feels like you are playing with a greatsword, but with a little faster pace and with that particular style of the katana's moveset. Despite of this weapon being designed to be particularly effective against dragons, that doesn't mean that it is not going to be effective against enemies that are not dragons. Actually, this weapon is one of your best options if you want to go to the late part of this expansion and not struggle a lot with the enemies. And as it is in most cases, my favorite part of this build is the unique skill Dragon Wound Slash. Something that is very important to say about this weapon and about the skill is that we are dealing only physical damage, that is very very important to craft this build properly. The unique skill of this weapon is a heavy slash coated with the dragon wound effect. If you hold the skill, you will be able to throw a dragon wound projectile just after releasing the slash. And despite of this skill being especially effective against dragons, you will, be, you will see that it is actually very good against regular enemies and you will not have any trouble using uh, using this skill in most scenarios. If you don't know what the dragon wound effect does, basically it is a buff that ignores the defense values of the dragon type enemies. Most of the dragons of this game will absorb like 30% or 40% of the damage you deal to them and with this effect you will be able to ignore that defense values and you will deal a lot of damage to these type of enemies. Now that we know the main features of this weapon, let's jump straight to the equipment and the stats. We are going to be using the Dragon Hunter's Great Katana on plus 10 and any seal we have available to cast our main buff. As you can see, this katana scales in the same value with the strength and dexterity, so this can be called a quality build. Anyways, you have to decide which one to prioritize, I will prioritize dexterity if I will be using the skill most of the time. If I am not going to use the skill that much, then I will prioritize strength. However, I think that in this case, a balance between both values is a very very good option. As you know, you can use any armor set you like, but I am using the Armor of Solitude, which is a fantastic armor set you can obtain very early on this DLC. If you pay attention to the defense stats of this armor set, you will notice that we will have a very decent damage negation in almost every aspect. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Ritual Sword Talisman, the Shard of Alexander, the God Three Icon and the Old Lord's Talisman. This talisman will increase the duration of our buffs. This one is going to be really effective against enemies that have a lot of HP because the boss fight is going to last a little bit longer. However, a great alternative is the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman. With this one, we will be basically unkillable. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, we will use the Strength Not Crystal Tear and the Dexterity Not Crystal Tear to boost our base damage a little bit further. With this weapon we are going to be dealing only physical damage, that's why the best body buff is going to be Blood Bowl Aromatic. However, if you don't like crafting, feel free to use Flame Grand Me Strength. There is a difference between both buffs, but it is not actually really important. And don't forget your Pickle Throttle Legs to boost your stamina regeneration speed. And the most effective stats we can use for this build are 50 on Vigor, 25 on Mind, Endurance on 40. To be able to wear that heavy armor and to attack consistently, we will level up Strength and Dexterity to 60 and Fate to 25. Golden Vow and Flame Grand Me Strength are going to be our main buffs. But before testing the weapon, I want to quickly talk about the Scatter Tree Blessing. This is basically the new upgrade system of the DLC. You can upgrade this stat all the way up to 20, which means that right now we are dealing only a quarter of the max damage we can deal when upgrading this stat to the top. So my recommendation to have a more enjoyable experience in this DLC is to upgrade this stat as much as you can. Right now I have it on 5 because I haven't found more Scatter Tree Fragments, but as soon as I find more I will upgrade this stat as much as I can. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we check the performance of this bad boy? 
Now guys, to buff your character, you have to use Golden Bow first. Then your Pickle Turtle Leg, which is completely optional. Then your Flask of Wondrous Physique. And finally your Body Buff. In this case I will use Blood Bowl Aromatic, but you can use Flame Grand Me Strength perfectly fine. Refill your FP and you're ready to go. That's a good hit. Oh, I managed to hit it, bro. That was insane. Nice, that's what I'm talking about, bro. As you can see, this thing is completely broken, bro. So, you can destroy it so easy with this weapon, bro. And let's destroy it again. She's not ready for us, bro. Take that. Oh my god, that's amazing. And the backstab. Oh my god, amazing. And again. Let's show her who's boss. And she's over, guys. Let's go! So easy, baby! Let's show me who's boss, baby. Doom. Check this, bad boy. Look at the damage, baby. Look at this damage, guys. This thing is completely broken. Oh my god. And you better get down, bad boy. Nah, 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 This is amazing, guys. Now... Get down, bad boy. Is it going to happen, guys? The first oh my god, that is a lot of damage, indeed. Oh, I gotta be careful with those things. Come on. Oh, that is a good hit, baby. No way. No way, that is a good hit. Oh, that is a good hit. No way! <laughs> you are not ready for this. You are not even close to be ready for this, bro. Oh, look at that. And let's make it epic, guys. Let's make it epic. Now, I will show you where you can obtain this weapon. Parting from the castle front side of Grace, you will take this path all the way up here until you reach this point where you have a deviation here. So you take this alternative path all the way until you reach this cave. As you can see, there is a little bit uh, of, a, of a ramp here, if we can call it that way. And here at the end of this cave is where you will have to fight for this weapon. You're crazy. There you go. Oh, that was close. Come on. There we go. Come on. Oh, I broke him, I broke him. Let's go. Nice. Come on. Okay. Goodbye, buddy. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.